Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be looking at the new Dell G3 gaming laptop and its performance and mainly the benchmark results. And a lot of people have been asking, well, is this laptop worth the value? There's many factors that can determine whether a laptop is worth it or not. But today we're mainly gonna focus on performance. Since this computer has a Core i5, a lot of people have been wondering, well, should I get a computer that has a Core i7 instead, or should I just even get a refurbished computer? And at the end of the video, I'll share my final thoughts about whether the performance of this laptop is good and or whether it is worth it or not. Now, there are many i7 computers out there to compare with, but I'm just going to compare this laptop, the Dell G3 gaming laptop with the ThinkPad E570, which is like an old one I used to use. And specs will be listed right here if you want to look at them or in the description below for the full ones. But anyways, let's get right into it, the testing. Starting off, we're going to be looking at the overall benchmarking test results. And for this, the higher the number, the better. And for the Dell G3 results, we have 757 as in the number. And for the ThinkPad E570, we have the 685. So already we can tell that the Dell G3 is winning and has better performance. But next we'll be testing the GPU and the CPU results and see how that goes. Starting off, we're gonna be testing the CPU and GPU results of the Dell G3 gaming laptop. And for the CPU results, it's really good. Personally, in my opinion, uh, for the G3D mark, which is the left column, um, anything that's a below a thousand is pretty bad and anything that's above five thousand is pretty good and the score is actually pretty awesome and for the rank it's a bit controversial but anything that's above a thousand is, i think it's pretty bad and obviously there's more computers better than this but these are just the results for the dell g3 gaming laptop cpu so compared to the thinkpad e570 the dell g3 gaming laptop cpu score was much better than that with a difference of 6,000, which honestly, for a sense of scale, was, was like a lot. Despite that, the ThinkPad had a Core i7 base frequency of 2.7 gigahertz. Now for the GPU results, the laptops both have NVIDIA GTX graphics cards, and the Dell G3 still beat the ThinkPad E570 when it comes to GPU results. And if you're an NVIDIA fan and you know a lot about graphics card, you should probably know that a GTX 1650 is generally better than a GTX 950M, which was like a 2016 build version of it. When it comes to FPS testing, the Dell G3 gaming laptop does a much better job at playing Conquer, and when it comes to FPS, it averages around 300 to 400, while the ThinkPad E570 averages only about 160 to 200. So my final thoughts about the Dell G3 gaming laptop having a Core i5 is that it depends what your needs are and I generally think it's worth it if you're going to do some entry level gaming with a Dell G3 gaming laptop and overall it's not only the Core i5 that determines that it's good or not, you also have to consider the generation and the baseline frequency and other factors as well such as the GPU. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more of these kind of videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.